here we are we're going to install an aluminum window now we're using a Traco window this is a very high-end aluminum window but it's a very typical window it's got a nail fin an aluminum frame this particular window is a single hung and we're going to install it using a pan system uh, we like pan systems not only because are they very effective but you know what ASTM uh, is you know, guiding us in that direction anyway. I think in the next few years, we're going to see all window installations, uh, including pan systems. But this window's a, a B method window install with a pan system uh, using nail on flashing and sealant. This insulation system will not leak. And uh, hope you like it. If you have any questions, give me a call 800 310 7673. Drop me an email, gene at tlslabs.com or send the company an email, info at tlslabs.com. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Here's part one of our video on how to install aluminum windows using an AMA Method B. Now this video is more of a review of important concepts. It'll discuss details of what you will see in the videos that follow. It's about 10 minutes long. I'd encourage you to take notes because remember there will be an exam later. We're covering aluminum windows with nail fins. Now we're also going to use an AMA Method B. Uh, we like AMA Method B very much. It's a tried and true window installation method. We're going to enhance our AMA Method B with a cap beta sealant. Now we believe this is very important and through the course of this video we'll explain why. We are also going to use a membrane pan system. Uh, this is going to be referred to as a drainage method of window installation and uh, we like this. We think it's an important uh, element of the system. Now there can be a, a barrier method of window installation which does not allow for drainage and that's going to be discussed in this video as well. We believe all installers should know the following that the rough opening is the most important detail to get right. Without a proper rough opening, you know, just nothing good can happen. If you're going to use a pan system or a drainage system, the rough opening should be three quarters of an inch wider than the net frame size of the window. If you're not going to use a pan system, in other words, a barrier system, then the rough opening should be half an inch greater in width than the net frame size of the window. The difference is the materials. When you use a pan system, you're going to have a buildup of materials. The rough opening height should be half an inch greater than the net frame size of the window. If you've got a window manufacturer that's telling you something different than I just told you, well, go ahead and go with the manufacturer's dimensions. With window installation, there are two strategies to consider. You've got a barrier method, and you've got a drainage method. A barrier method basically assumes that no water is ever going to get in behind the nail fin. So what you're going to do is apply a bead of sealant around all four sides of the nail fin in a continuous method. Again, this is because we don't think water is ever going to get behind that nail fin. So there's no need to manage it. A drainage method. We're going to apply sealant to all four sides of the nail fin in a discontinuous method. We're going to leave gaps on the lower nail fin for water to escape. In other words, we're going to create a path of least resistance at the lower portion of that nail fin for any water that's going to get behind our nail fin uh, to escape. In this strategy, we expect water to get behind the nail fin at some point in the future, so we're going to manage it with a pan system. There are some uh, experts across the country that believe all windows are going to leak someday. I don't know that I buy into that, but I do believe that some windows are going to leak in the future, and this method of installation will manage that water that will get into the rough opening and keep it away from the inside of the home. Know that flashing is a sheet material that's used to span and manage water away from areas of a wall that's designed to be kept dry. Now there's many different materials that can be used to create flashing. 
and we'll discuss some of those uh, in this and other videos. AMA Method B uses side flashing that's under the side nail fins. Now that's going to be the main difference between the B method and the A method. The A method has side flashing on top of the side nail fins. Tell you the truth, we like the B method a lot better. It tests better. All flashing products when you're installing windows should be 9 inches or greater. Nail-on flashing is often referred to in print as NOF, nail-on flashing, and it is not sticky. Self-adhered flashing, often referred to as SAF, has a release sheet and is sticky after the release sheet has been removed. SAF is often referred to as bitumethane, a bitumen, a peel and stick, or just a waterproof membrane. SAF membranes are most commonly made from SBS modified asphalt products. You'll often hear these referred to as rubberized asphalts. You've got to exercise extreme care when using these products over sealants. Some of the sealants will liquefy the SAF membranes. It'll turn it into black drips. It'll liquefy it and you'll have black stuff run down the side of your wall. It's a bad thing. What you're going to do is consult your manufacturers and use sealants that are compatible with your SAF membranes, particularly rubberized asphalt membranes. Now there are some other SAF membranes that are made from butyl, butyl-based materials. These products have a higher heat tolerance and really don't have any compatibility problems with sealants that I'm aware of. Uh, unfortunately, you know, they're more money. You should always know what type of SAF product you're working with so that you can avoid uh, conflicts with different types of materials. The enhanced B method. We believe that the AMA method B is greatly enhanced with a cap bead of sealant over the top of the nail fin and buttered flat. This enhancement will eliminate the need for additional SAF flashing that may be applied over the nail fin at a future date. The enhancement protects against damage to the window installation that may be inflicted by future subtrades. Who? Who would damage your wonderful window installation after you walk away from it? Well, if the wall is going to receive stucco, it could be the lath and fastener application. The lath fastener application uh, can really uh, create havoc with window nail fins if somebody punches a lath fa fastener through your nail fin. You've also got siding installation, hardboard siding. You know some of those nails often go through the nail fins of windows, and that can create real problems too. And last but not least, installation of wood trim around the window. Whenever you're particularly applying something like a 2x4 wood trim, picture framing a window, the nails that are used to install that wood trim can really damage the nail veneer window. So if you apply a bead of sealant on top of the nail fin and butter it flat, you're providing some great protection against uh, these future occurrences. So. That about covers what I want you to know. I hope you watch the video and enjoy it and get something out of it. Uh, if you're going for certification, all of this material will be on your final exam. And if you would, watch the video and look for these issues to come up. And, and um, again, we, we hope you like it. Study hard. And um, we'll see you in the field.